You're listening to Aaron on BBC Radio Nottingham. At 14 minutes to 8, it is time to play our second and final piece of Upload for the evening. It's been sent in by Rich Webster, and he is part of Cafe Sober. Now, this is an integral and vital hub of connections for people in recovery from drug and alcohol addiction. The Upload itself is a poem about recovery from drug and alcohol addiction, read by Ella Burns Robbins from Cafe Sober's Do or Die Poets. It's called Day 55. Hi, I'm Jason Loftus, the General Manager of Cafe Sober. We work with people in the recovery community to essentially help themselves to recreate lives from the negative effects of substance misuse. We work closely with the creative community as well and that's how we've come to work with Miggy Angel and the Do or Die Poets, our resident poetry troupe. From the Do or Die Poets, I'd like to introduce you to a star of the future, the wonderful Ella Burns Robbins. This next piece I'm going to share, I wrote as part of my recovery journey. There are things that people tell you when you first enter any space that allows you to get clean, that allows you to put down drugs. And one of those is that you're you're going to lose people along the way. You've been in a circle where people exist who are sick and they'll continue to get sicker. And now you're in a place where people are sick and trying to get better and not everybody does. It's called Day 55. Ascending a precipice. My grip is strong and it is crucial I hold on. Some parts are so well climbed, feet find effortlessly the footholds of the patrons of this clamber. I am busy trying to gather my strength and load it into my pockets. Strength reminds me of Yorkshire farmland, where the farmers wrestle with the ferrets. Wily and wriggly and difficult to predict. Looks cute, but it stinks. Once in a while, I'll pass a familiar face. Eyes that have witnessed this place once, twice, 17 times before. They have slipped. Perhaps their foot got stuck and they took a tumble. Perhaps they were so busy fumbling with their strength that they forgot what it meant. Perhaps, I don't know. But my pockets are empty and the size of my strength is comparable only to a worm. Writhing as school children prod me with sticks but not much makes me tick these days. Yet this guilt I feel, I can't deal with the notion that perhaps I could conjure the potion to treat these wounded comrades and raise them to their feet, but close contact allows spread of contagious disease, so instead I offer a sympathetic smile. The kind that, while you're down on your luck, feels like someone just kicked muck into your face and turn bleakly away. Powerful. If you want your stuff heard on Upload, it's really simple. You just upload it, bbc.co.uk slash upload. Get-